so firstly take your image in photoshop cc so here my aim is to crop this uh, bike person uh, from the background so to do this uh, firstly make a new copy and uh, I will use uh, this uh, select then color range because uh, it is very difficult to crop if I use this any of the tool like uh, magic wand or any quick selection or pen tool so this is the easiest, easiest way so uh, this is my panel uh, in which you can see some fuzziness and range so firstly I will take a sampling so you will click and uh, the area black is selected the area gray or white it is not selected so so we can adjust it range and uh, we have to completely make it black so that we can take selection uh, okay now we have this plus eyedropper tool click on there and I want this selection again okay that's fine that's really fine okay now we, now we can adjust it okay now click on okay now this is my selection of this bike person and uh, control shift I to invert this and control J now I will hide two layers now this is my person okay now in this layer I will use this uh, eraser tool and use this eraser to erase the unnecessary part of the image so it's really a cool command uh, color range so whenever you find the difficulty to crop an image then you can use this color range so in this way you can select it and uh, I will remove the unwanted area that I, that I don't want so it's really really very easy and uh, very effective way to crop the image and see this okay now we have this uh, background now control click on there and take selection and hide this layer again select this layer go to edit now we have this fill in fill we have this content aware but before that I have to expand the selection uh, go to selection and uh, modify then expand and I will expand it by uh, you can say a uh, 9 pixel it is already there and uh, that's fine now edit fill now content aware okay I think it's not working so we have to do it manually okay control D okay now we have this uh, stamp tool now select it and uh, make a new layer uh, select sample all layers now click on here and apply click on here and apply sometimes tools does not work and we have to do it manually remove it manually control Z ok that's fine now see it is ok now I will save um, delete unwanted layers firstly and uh, firstly merge these two layers uh, select two layers and press control E to merge it and we have this now we have this background layer and this is my biker layer. now I will save this uh, these layers so firstly uh, keep in mind that uh, for this uh, bike stunt person we have to save it as PNG so that we can uh, save as the transparent layer okay now go to file then save for file this is very mandatory step and uh, it will ask to you save it uh, firstly cancel it uh, the main idea uh, hide this layer inactive this layer now this is looking as transparent and it will save as same as it is as you can see here okay now 
all right click on there make a new folder 3d okay now save as PNG now it is saved now now again inactive this layer active this layer and go to file then save for web save and I will call it number two image okay now you can see here I have two files number two and this is my biker and uh, if I click this and you can see it is uh, PNG and transparent and all these area will be hide so so select these files and uh, drag it to after effects okay now this is my background and this is my biker and drag this to my layer panel and uh, this is biker and I will move it to timeline so so here my aim is to uh, just zoom and pan background as well as foreground so then you will get the 3d effect this is the main idea behind it okay firstly uh, this is my background okay now I will show the these options of this background so firstly I will uh, I want to make it zoom so simply I will make it scale so to do this click on their stopwatch I have create a keyframe and about five seconds uh, you can say it is it may be six second and uh, I want to make it zoom something like this now you can see it okay now other way uh, one more thing I want to do for the background is uh, I want to change the position of this okay for this uh, again create a new position and uh, create a new keyframe and uh, this is my six second and I will something like this even I will try okay even I can do one thing more so similarly hide this and uh, go to this biker layer and transform I want to active the uh, okay now uh, I want I want a keyframe and uh, I want the keyframe as the same position so this is my at same position keyframe you can see here and I want to scale it okay now drag this and press shift on the keyboard and you will automatically fit it to this keyframe setting and uh, I want to scale it something like uh, okay okay uh, now again go to position and make a new keyframe press on there and uh, about uh, six seconds I want to move it to the left side something like this now I will now play this very nice so simply again go to composition then uh, add to render queue ok now click on there now you have this AV format ok uh, one second in AV format I will choose this uh, quick time if you uh, choose this quick time now you will be able to get the MSS image size as uh, as a low low size click on ok this 
सो थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स कीप वॉचिंग हॉर्न क्रिएशन